This is Robert Forsch with The Truth. I'm on uh, many social media platforms, Robert J. Forsch on Instagram, Robert Forsch on Twitter, and of course uh, YouTube. The name of the channel is Truth. If you hashtag my name, Robert Forsch, you'll see a lot of interesting content. I'll uh, put the spelling in the link, and my links are on the for several are on the channel. I want to cover uh, healthy nutrition, food for thought. What is it? What is food for thought? It's not just uh, intellectual thoughts. It's uh, nutrition. It's a synergistic combination of both. And then it's more than that also. Also has to do with um, limiting the toxic input, limiting the deception. So uh, a high concentration of truth, reality, to make the most accurate decision for eternity. Some people are stepping pretty close to the launching pad, so to speak. Uh, we're all eternal beings having a temporary human experience. Seven people per second no longer have that human experience. So as a teenager, I was, uh, oh, I, I should say, about half of those are uh, abortion. The other half die through a variety of causes. War, sickness, cancer, uh, apparently natural cause, causes. We've got uh, some wind blowing around here today. You can see the, the coloration of the sand blowing across the the darker colored sand. I had to restart my uh, my recording because my camera was turned on my iPhone. I, I wanted you to be able to see this. It's just gorgeous. So in contrast to a professional athlete, professional level sports, then we've got people in comas. Not a lot of them, but they are on liquid nutrition. What's in that nutrition? What's in that uh, feeding tube? It can sustain life for decades, apparently. People have been on feeding tubes for a long time. So I'm, I'm asking the question, uh, what, what actually do we need to sustain a healthy level of function? Cognitive function. So it'd be a, a diet that has a very limited uh, waste. There are people that are on uh, diets that have way too many calories and, and they've got way too much excess weight. Sometimes that extra weight may be uh, liquid, maybe a lot of water. Water retention can be a huge amount of weight. Just because somebody's overweight doesn't mean they're fat. They may be um, having some chemicals that are in their in their body that are causing weight gain from water. So for example, if you were to just uh, write down all the chemicals you're on, whatever they are, if you, uh, if you have a, a food product that's got a, a list of chemicals you can't even pronounce, it's probably, they're probably not so good for you. We've got food preservatives and colorings that are intentionally to toxify humanity just so you know. So we're in a battle. Uh, water fluoridation and the other chemicals that are in drinking water in many cases are extremely unhealthy. So what's in, what's in your water? So there's a, a combination of toxification and malnourishment. It's all, um, it's all malnourishment when it's, um, when it's toxic. So what, what is it? What's in your food? What's in your diet? And what I've made an effort to do is to uh, detoxify, provide healthy nutrients for my body, my physiology, which includes what I think about. The Word of God, I believe, is true. The Bible is true, God's Word and I listen to it, meditate on it around the clock. Now, I used to do that and be spiritually dead. 
So now that I'm actually born again, God's word means something quite a bit different, quite a bit more. I encourage everybody to seek the truth with all your heart because, well, it matters for eternity and the truth matters. The more significant an issue, the more significant the reality. Where will you spend an eternity and why? That's the question I am asking everybody. Now, I do believe all God's children will be born again. That's for sure and that's forever. I didn't decide who my mom and dad would be. It doesn't work that way. From what I understand, the scripture, God's word as authored by him through, as he inspired men to write his word down, says that the names of all God's children were put in the Lamb's Book of Life before the foundation of the world. God is all-knowing. He's all-powerful and He's sovereign. He's in charge. So there's nothing in this world that's going to happen that He doesn't directly cause or allow. It's an important reality to be aware of. So, Let's uh, digress back to uh, physical nutrition. With uh, professional athletes needing a lot of calories and a lot of exercise to have uh, peak performance in, in uh, activities, whatever the sport is, that's one thing. And then people in comas, they're asleep, they uh, maybe have very little to no brain function, and they're on liquid nutrition, a feeding tube. And then we've got everybody else in between. We've got uh, babies that are in, in vitro, they're, they're in, uh, in utero, or they're, they're in the mother's womb, and they're receiving nutrition from the mother, including the endorphins, the dopamine, the serotonin, the norepinephrine. If a mother goes to see a scary movie or has a tragic life experience uh, that those flight or fight uh, type of endorphins and emotions are also transmitted to the baby. So if the mother's a heroin addict, uh, a meth addict, uh, a junkie, it's going to have uh, different, different physiological effects, different uh, emotions, and typically a lack of nutrition physical and mental nutrition. So what does healthy nutrition constitute? What is it? How will we, how will we find it? Did you know that there was an assault on humanity to toxify what's in the food chain, what's in the, in the education? There's a lot of mystery with history. A lot of deception with all that. Started uh, the, how would I say, the rebellion started in the heavenly realms before humanity was created. Lucifer wanted to be God. He wanted to rule the universe. He and a third of the angels were cast out of heaven. Many of them ended up in this world. They were cast to earth. Lucifer, the serpent, the fallen one, shows up in the Garden of Eden to corrupt humanity. There was a corruption of humanity in Genesis 6. People will argue about a lot of different theological perspectives. I would simply say it's obvious that we've got a corruption in humanity. It's all around us. What will you do with that information? You might just think it's a fairy tale. Well, the, the science fiction and the trips to Mars and space and all that, that's science fiction. The space NASA and SpaceX and Blue Origin and the other space programs of the world, they're, 
they're concerned with the space between your ears, your imagination, your fantasy. People have delusions of grandeur, delusions of uh, their imagination. Where will they, where will they travel to? Entheogens, toxins, pharmacia, witchcraft, sorcery, the imaginations of humanity. Root cutting, if you go to um, the 200 or so fallen angels that show up on Mount Hermon. How about that? showed uh, weapons of warfare, including uh, how, to, how to make people pretty and attractive to other people to compromise their integrity, to corrupt them. So in a lot of the uh, humanity that's enamored with physical beauty and material wealth, so to speak, there's a lot of corruption there. A lot of deception. A lot that's not as it, it appears. As in the transpocalypse, which involves transhumanism, the integration of technology and humanity, and transgendering, which is also a corruption of humanity as well. Last night I watched the Terminator again. I hadn't seen it for a while. It was the original Terminator. My brother, Bill Forsh, William Forsh, he spells his name F-O-R-S-C-H-E. He worked on that. He worked on Star Wars with ILM. Uh, you can see his IDMB. I'm going to link it to my Facebook and show you. The Hollywood. He, he worked in Hollywood. He's uh, got... Uh, done a lot of work, you can see it if you care to. The cinematography and artificial intelligence generated graphics and imagery has, uh, has become so elaborate and so convincing for so much of humanity. To, you know, like William Shatner was asked uh, about science and science fiction, he said they're virtually the same. And virtually they, they are. And that's something to consider, is that um, fantasy and imagination so is, uh, is very pervasive in society. People are, is what you believe true, or is it a lie? Fantasy as in uh, pornography, it's uh, sexual fantasy, and then we've got philanthropic fantasy, people donating money, thinking they're making a, believing they're making a difference. Bill Gates does it with eugenics, philanthropic toxification of humanity with uh, vaccinations and putrefication of the food supply, genetically modified organisms. We've got artificial intelligence distributing chemicals in the atmosphere, the air we breathe. It goes in the water, evaporates, comes back down on us. You can hashtag the firmament. That's the structure that separates the waters above from the waters below. We, we aren't going to have a, a destruction of this earth with a flood. There may be floods, and there will be. We can look at it and see it. There's the evidence of the wind movement the sand moving. You can see it in the color contrast there. There's uh, so that sand and then there's a silica sand and then there's qubits in quantum computing. All of that can be and will be destroyed with a fire. The, uh, the water is combustible. It's oxygen and hydrogen. It's the chemical construct of it. It's the makeup of it. I'm going to let this get, I'm going to move back where I'm 
a little bit more stable and I want to zoom in on the sun. Job 37 proclaims that the sun is in the midst of the clouds. That occurrence happens more when it's low on the horizon based on perspective and vantage point. There are laws of perspective. Whether you like it and or agree with it or not, you can look some of that up. If you lay your belly on the beach, you won't see very far. You stand up, you'll see further. Some of the basic uh, laws of perspective. The eyes of the observers affect that. Right now, this, these cameras are uh, under three feet off the, off the beach. Two and a half to three feet between the two of them. <clears throat> so, omniscience, omniscience, it's an attribute of God. He knows everything. He spoke this world into existence. It's not a godless cosmic Big Bang. Where did all the stuff come from? It's mind boggling. Even the evolutionists, if you look at that, for example, where did the stuff come from that uh, uh, turned, you know, the two tiny amoeba that we were shown on, uh, you know, Bugs Bunny and all of that. And then we get older and we're presented evolution in school. The primordial ooze that supposedly is continually uh, creating new stuff. We've still got the monkeys. We've got <clears throat> abiotic oil. It's continually generating in the, in the earth. Oil is. So uh, peak oil is a scam. Oil shortages are a scam. They know it. They're lying. I ain't buying there's energy in the air that we breathe. There's energy in the air all around us. There's electricity all around us. It's becoming more conductive in the atmosphere because of the conductive material that is being dispersed in the form of geoengineering, terraforming, weather modification. It's all patented. Uh, I should say much of it is patented and is also disclosed. So for example, when uh, there's chemical and radiological weapons that are being burned up in Fort Ord and other uh, toxic military burns, that's going in the air of the world and it's getting rained down. Maybe you've heard of acid rain and more. There's, uh, so th this isn't a doom and gloom presentation, just so you know. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I'm, I'm not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth. I say that pretty regularly, that's a reality. The sun appearing in the midst of the clouds is a reality. I don't know how it works. It works well, you can set a a bubble level on a, a spirit level, a carpenter level on a window ledge and watch the sun move and the bubble stay stationary, doesn't move. The water seeks level, covers the face of the earth, doesn't stick to a ball. Simple, basic reality, whether you like it or not. It's just the reality of it. One of the reasons why I show this is because, well, it's uh, best I can tell reality. We live in a computer programmed reality. Much of humanity is deceived and they don't know it. They're programmed by technology that they're unaware even exists. Quantum computing, superposition, quantum physics, a lot of the theoretical physicists that meander off into uh, formulas and theories that don't reflect reality. As water reflects a man's face, God's word reflects the man. So when I looked in the mirror and I saw what I saw wasn't what I was supposed to see as a new creature in Christ. 
Yesterday was uh, the commemoration of Reformation Day, also some celebrated as Halloween, candy distribution and human sacrifice as well. Of course, a lot of the parents and children celebrate the candy distribution and collection, unaware of maybe some of the, they might think of the, the dark Luciferian satanic uh, celebration as like folklore or something. It's a actual reality that people should, I believe, be aware of. So I expose that on my channel. You can look through the liked videos playlist that has actually millions of occurrences of it throughout uh, my exploits of copying and pasting everywhere I can that I choose to and it stays up there. My photos, photo album on Facebook, my YouTube channel, exposing the reality of the world we live in to a humanity that in many cases is not interested. However, when the Holy Spirit pays a visit to the child of God, gives them new life and a passion, purpose, eternal perspective and the power to do what's humanly impossible, they will be changed just like I was. New life in Christ is desirable. At least it was for me. God is not a cosmic killjoy. The truth isn't based on popular opinion. It's not popular and it's not an opinion. It's just the reality of the world that we live in. You can explore the law of non-contradiction. I believe it's a reality. There are actual laws and commandments in Scripture and in creation. God's Word says that the Creator is evident within His creation. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. In the person of Jesus Christ, He is the way, the truth, the life, the living Word, the living water, the great I Am, the Alpha and Omega. You may refer to Him as Yeshua, Yahweh, YHWH, many names, many uh, titles. Okay, so you can, uh, some people get uh, very legalistic and legalism can end you up in hell if you're not born again. You've got to be born again. I'm not promoting any type of lawlessness. I'm simply saying you're going to need to have the, the power of the Spirit and the presence of the Spirit to live this life biblically, obediently. You've got to be born again. That's what Jesus says everybody forever he also says they refuse to love the truth and so be saved for this reason he sends them a powerful delusion so no amount of creative marketing or documentaries is going to overcome a, a divine delusion that God is sending Satan's children apparently because all, all of God's children are going to be born again and we're going to spend an eternity in heaven so I'm basically putting Satan on notice. He's, he knows, he knows, but I, he's deceived as well. Apparently he believes he can, he can have victory over God, the creator. He's a defeated and deceived foe. And so are his children. So are the fallen angels. I'm exposing that reality. Greater is he that's in me and all of, his all of God's children that are actually born again. Greater is he that's in us than Satan and his family. There's two families, God's family, Satan's family, the Creator's family, the usurper's family. So God created all the stuff uh, and Satan created the deception under God's sovereign control. You may have a problem with that. You're going to have to take that to a higher authority than me. I mean, you can dislike what I say and believe. 
However, there's the reality of how it actually is. And what will you do with that? It takes less than a day to hear the entire New Testament. About 77 hours to hear the entire Bible, or at least the, from Genesis to Revelation. I believe the Book of Enoch is definitely worthy of your consideration. I haven't found any contradictions between the Book of Enoch and, and the, what's considered the, the canon of Scripture. There's a spiritual smorgasbord that humanity is dining on. Many of you know that. I'm unapologetically biblical because I'm actually a child of God that's born again. I encourage everybody to seek the truth with all your heart because that's what it's going to require is everything. It's going to actually take more than you have the ability to offer. Divine intervention is required for new life in Christ. To actually be born of the Spirit, something that God decided before the foundation of the world according to his word. So if you have concerns with my theology, sociology, any of that, philosophy, you can uh, leave a link in a description if you care to. Command C, Command V, copy and paste. Pretty simple to do. That's why I have millions of occurrences of my liked videos playlist exposing the reality of the world we live in and uh, and also the the truth of all that as best I can tell more may be revealed I know there's a lot of deception in this world I major on showing that it's show and tell food for thought take a look at it see what you come up with remember two kids stealing a bicycle is by definition a conspiracy it's an illegal act and more than one person's doing it. What we're looking at is artificial intelligence giving a false reality to humanity. Using uh, deception like uh, computer programming through the NASA space program and more, the scientific community to enthrone themselves as the unquestioning, unquestionable experts and presenting technology that come from the space program. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of technology that's been developed, and like I say, the space that the space program is mostly concerned with is between your ears, your, your imagination, your fantasy. It's, it's pornography for the intellectual. It's fantasy for the intellectual. There's sexual pornography, and then there's uh, like scientific pornography, so to speak. I want you to see it for the deception and corruption that it actually is. Is what you believe the truth? Or is it a lie? This is Robert Force. You can call me anytime. Call me whatever you want. I know how to block if I need to. 1-843-504-1776. You can send me an email, robertforsch at gmail.com. Can use the Facebook Messenger. I'm also on uh, Skype. My Skype handle is YouTube Truth. Thank you so much for your public and private encouragement. If you have information you believe I should know about, feel free to send it to me. Call me if you like. Thank you so much.